Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered how to spot a constellation? Today, you're in for a treat. We're about to embark on a celestial journey exploring the fascinating world of constellations with a special focus on the zodiac ones. These celestial patterns have captivated human imagination for millennia, serving as navigational guides, storytelling tools, and even as symbols of personal identity. Without further ado, let's dive into the world of constellations. Spotting a constellation isn't as complex as it might seem at first glance. It all begins with a clear, dark sky, far from the city's bright lights. Your geographical position on Earth also plays a pivotal role in what constellations you can see. For instance, observers in the Northern Hemisphere can't see constellations visible from the Southern Hemisphere and vice versa. Now, imagine a giant sphere surrounding the Earth. This is the celestial sphere, a handy tool for astronomers. The sky's constellations appear to lie on this sphere. To spot them, you need to search along a particular plane called the ecliptic. This is the path the sun appears to travel across the celestial sphere. Think of it like a highway in the sky, where the zodiac constellations are the landmarks. Understanding these basics will set you up for success in your constellation spotting journey. Now that we have the basics down, Let's learn the steps to identify a constellation. The first step is to locate the North Star or Polaris. It's nearly directly above the North Pole, making it a reliable reference point. Now we look for the ecliptic plane. Remember, the ecliptic plane doesn't lie perfectly north-south, but tilts at an angle of 23.5 degrees. To locate the ecliptic plane, face Polaris and consider it as your north. Now move slightly eastward or westward from Polaris you'll likely encounter prominent zodiac constellations like Leo, Virgo, etc. Remember, our planet rotates, so what you see changes depending on the time and season. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere and are stargazing during the summer season, you'll find the ecliptic plane slightly east of Polaris and vice versa. You can use a constellation map or a stargazing app if you can't recall the shapes of zodiac constellations. Once you've spotted a zodiac, look slightly above to find another zodiac and slightly below to find a third zodiac constellation. You have located the highway in the sky and also spotted three landmarks or zodiacs. As you trace this highway, you'll find all the 12 zodiac constellations. Here is an important point to note. If you live in the Southern Hemisphere, you'll have to take the Southern Cross as your reference instead of the Polaris. Remember, for spotting constellations, your position on Earth and your viewpoint on the celestial sphere are crucial. The more you observe, the more familiar these celestial patterns will become. It's like learning a new language, one written in stars. In the next video, we're going to explore how zodiacs are assigned to individuals in astrology. Do zodiacs really influence the personality of an individual? Are there scientific studies proving or disproving these theories? So stay tuned and stay curious.